Hi, it is Troy Stavros with Doorbell Real Estate, and I just got done crunching all the numbers for the end of July housing market snapshot for the counties surrounding Knoxville and a few specific areas, and just kind of wanted to go through the numbers with you. There will be a post that you can see that has uh, the graphics of all of these numbers as well, so feel free to look at that, but I just thought I'd kind of go through this and give you some thoughts. Uh, first off, uh, Knox County. So this is what these stats are doing is they're comparing how the market looks today compared to the same time last year. So same time last year comparison. Uh, Knox County home sales are down slightly 1.9%. Uh, home inventory, so that's the amount of homes available for sale and active on the market right now is down as well 7.3%. But good news is median sales price is up 7.47% uh, in Knox County. Uh, as we move on to the other counties, uh, let's see, Anderson County uh, is, home sales are actually up 1.9%, home inventory um, is down 1.4%, and median sales price, they are killing it in Anderson County, they are up 11.43%. Uh, as we move over to Roan County, home sales are down 0.2%, so very slightly, so it's pretty much the same as last year. Inventory of homes is down 4.9%, and median sales price also doing well in Roan County, averages up 9.97%, so just under 10% increase in median sales price in Roan County. Uh, Loudoun County, the uh, home sales are down 0.5%, so still pretty close to what it was last year. Home inventory down 7.9%, and median sales price up 5.06%. Uh, Monroe County, home sales are up 2.8%, home inventory down 5.5%, home uh, median sales price up 10.07%, so that is doing great. In Monroe County. Uh, Bonk County is uh, home sales are down 7.1%, home inventory down 11.1%, and median sales price is up 9.48%. So in all of the surrounding counties, we're seeing a trend mostly in that home sales are down, inventory is down, but the sales prices are up. Why is that? Well, that's pretty much the law of supply and demand. There are less homes available for the amount of people that want them, so that is driving home prices up. Um, so what does that tell us we need? We need more houses on the market. So if you have a house, now is a great time to sell. Um, so let's look at some specific areas and see how things are going uh, in some specific areas. So first one, Farragut, Tennessee. Uh, home Sales are down 2.9%. Inventory of homes is actually up slightly at 1.6%. And the median sales price compared to last year is exactly the same, which is kind of crazy, but it is. And that is right at 385,000 median sales price in Farragut. Uh, West Knoxville, the 37922 zip code. Uh, home sales are down 9%, which is pretty big. Uh, inventory of homes also down pretty big, 9.6%, and the median sales price is up 4.54%, and that median sales price in 37922 is falling right now at uh, $355,040. Uh, as we move on to Hardin Valley area, we are seeing big decreases in home sales and inventory because things are just selling. Uh, so home sales in Hardin Valley are down 11% compared to last year. Inventory of homes is down 13.9%. And home prices, median sales price is up 6.02% with that median sales price coming in at $328,551. Uh, South Knoxville is just... Uh, it's doing great as far as sales prices go. The sales median sales price is up 10.30%, and that comes in at a median price of 156900 but 
things are selling like crazy and then there's very few homes for sale. Home sales compared to last year in South Knoxville are down 18.7% and the inventory of homes available is down 28.3%. That is huge. So there is people starving for homes in South Knoxville, a great place to be a seller right now. Um, Oak Ridge is just knocking it out of the park. Let's take a look at Oak Ridge. Uh, home sales in Oak Ridge compared to last year up 19.4%. Inventory of homes is up 7.3%. And median sales price in Oak Ridge up 16.32% compared to last year. And that median sales price is coming in at $176,465. Uh, and then last but not least, Lenore City. Uh, home sales are down 8.3%. Inventory of homes down 9.9%, almost 10%. But because of that, supply and demand, like we said, median sales price is up 9.18% with that price coming in at $251,000. So if uh, one of these areas aren't where you are and you want the information on what is happening in your particular county or uh, your particular city or your particular subdivision or your specific house, just reach out to me. I'm happy to get you that information. Also, follow the post that I'm putting. There's a link to all the different counties uh, and all the different zip codes in Knoxville, and you can click on that and it'll show you what is happening uh, you know, right now as far as market values. But it's really, remember, market values and what's happening in the real estate market is really hyper-local. That means it, it can narrow down to your block or, you know, so it's super important to look at your specific home. Just reach out to me. I'm happy to do that for you. I hope you're having a great day and we'll talk to you soon.